Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Ahmed Farooq, and I am now going to show you how to use Microsoft SQL Server Integration Service. I will try to describe each uh, item in the toolbox and how to use uh, these features and this item. Uh, first of all, my English is not very well and it's not very good but I will try to do my best to describe the tool and uh, make you understand uh, what is the tool for. So let's start. Now I will open my Microsoft SQL Server Data Tool and I, I have already opened uh, the, the I, I have already created the solution and I named it uh, SSIS tutorial. You can do it from here. Find new project. Then you're going to choose business intelligence integration service and you can going to rename your project here as you can see. So I have created it before. So this is my project. I named it SSIS tutorial. Now this is my first package. Let's delete it. And now I'm going to start the, the, the simplest way to move data from source to another destination. Okay. First of all, you have to drag and drop data flow task. This is our first data flow task. Then double click on it. I'm going now to use OLEDB data source. And I'm going to use a flat file destination. Okay, let's start. Let's delete those I have made before. Okay, double click on the OLEDB data source, the OLEDB source. This is will load or connect the our source, and this is will be our destination. Now I'm going to uh, uh, move a data from database to a flat, a flat file on my drive. Okay double click on it then new okay, I will delete this and make it from scratch new I will choose my my SQL server with, with dot I will select my database which is adventure work data warehouse uh, 2016 uh, this is can uh, this that this database can be downloaded from Microsoft, and I will leave the uh, the, the, the link for, uh, the, for the, link, the download link for it, so you can download it and uh, attach it uh, to your SQL Server. Okay, I'll use it. Okay, now I'm going to use a table or view from this database to uh, move the data from. To, uh, to my flat file okay now I'm going to use uh, some kind of dem, dem employee okay so, okay this is our table I can preview the data from the table as you can see full of data okay that's okay okay now I will drag this blue arrow to the flat file destination item so the tool will understand that I will move that the data from the OLEDB source to the flat file destination okay now I'm going to 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 handle the flat file destination by double click on it okay I will make a C CSV file it seems a CSV file, it looks like Excel file. Uh, okay, I will, uh, I will click new, delimited. You can read the description for each choice from here. Delimited, the column are delimited by comma. Expect the last one, which is delimited by the new line tractor. I will say okay. 
I'm happy with this now um, I'm going to browse where this file will be on my drive I have, I have already created a, a, a SSIS tutorial folder on my C drive now I'm going to create this file here you can create it before this but I will create it here right now Okay, this is my file okay. now I will rename it to uh, them employee and make the extension CSV Okay. Yes. Now it, you can see it's it's disappeared. But uh, when I use CSV file from here, it will appear again. Then double click on it. For this uh, checkbox, I I want the column to be appeared in this sheet, not only the data. So I will check this for the column name in the first data row. I will click OK map the column on the mapping page so I will click to uh, home mapping now I can see all the data mapped and say ok you can see this is an error here I can hover on it the data type for flat file destination column blue photo there is a column uh, uh, with a fo uh, column uh, name column photo for the employee and this da this data type in the database cannot be loaded in the flat file so I will ignore this column from my flat file double click mapping uh, photo is this blue photo I will ignore this column because the data type cannot be loaded in the flat file because it's a, f a photo click ok and now I going to execute the task and let's see what's happening you can see now there is 296 rows has been moved from the database to the flat file and now I I will open my flat file, the CSV file, and see the data. Okay, as you can see, all data now already at the file. This is the fairest and simplest way to move data from source to another. I'm not going to save my to save. Okay. okay. Uh, and I now I'm going to show you. Uh, most of this item in the toolbox and what is what it is for and how to handle uh, or, or hand how to, to work with every every one of this so let's start our next tutorial and thank you for watching